Princess Diana became an advocate against landmines after visiting Angola in 1997. She walked through a minefield, despite the risks, and witnessed the devastating impact of landmines on the people of Angola. Her activism led to the signing of the Ottawa Mine Ban Treaty by 122 countries, which has saved countless lives and prevented further devastation. The Ottawa Mine Ban Treaty, also known as the Mine Ban Convention, was signed in 1997. The treaty prohibits the use, production, stockpiling, and transfer of anti-personnel mines, which are responsible for causing numerous deaths and injuries among civilians even long after conflicts have ended. Thanks to the treaty, the number of new landmine casualties has significantly decreased in recent years. Princess Diana's legacy continues to inspire generations to advocate for a better world. Her bravery in walking through a minefield and her dedication to raising awareness about the devastating impact of landmines on communities has left a lasting impact. Prince Harry is now patron of the mine-clearing charity, the Halo Trust. His involvement with the Halo Trust is a testament to his mother's influence and commitment to making the world a safer place. The Halo Trust has been working tirelessly to clear landmines and other explosive remnants of war in countries like Afghanistan, Cambodia, and Sri Lanka. Their efforts have made it possible for communities to rebuild and thrive without fear of landmines. Prince Harry's goal for a landmine-free world by 2025 is ambitious but achievable, with continued support and investment in mine-clearing efforts. The Halo Trust and other organizations working to clear landmines are making a significant impact, but there is still much work to be done. With continued advocacy and action, we can honor Princess Diana's legacy and create a world free from the devastating impact of landmines.